Now, you've mentioned two things there, ADHD and dyslexic. How have you managed to achieve so much in your life, uh, whereas one might have looked at, especially, dyslexia as a disadvantage, per se? I, I think it is a disadvantage when it comes to academic learning, all right, because uh, we, we, we read... We have a terrible, I mean, my handwriting, it's terrible. I cannot read I'm my sure own handwriting. Because, no, <laughs> no, the thing is, it, it is, believe you me. Uh, the thing is, we write, we, we think faster than we can write. Um, so you find that sometimes you'll miss certain adjectives. We miss them automatically. Um, and I didn't realize all this until after I had my children. And then I started realizing, because they were in the schools in the UK. In Kenya, they had a lot of challenges. But in the UK, they kind of nailed it. And they said, OK, they have these learning disabilities. And they need this kind of assistance. They need extra time for exams. Now, unfortunately, in Kenya, you didn't have that. I was very bright. All right, in terms of school, I, in classroom, put me to talk. In fact, right, I always talk to my uh, professor at the USIU uh, for entrepreneurship, Scott, and he goes, you get it right when you're in class and you, you contribute, but then when it comes to putting it all down in writing, it's a bit difficult. But I can, I can go through a paper, I can tell you what I want, and when you put it together, um, know I, I know, I can, I can look at a document prepared by somebody with a PhD and I can fault it, but I cannot put it together myself. But I can tell the person, this is what I need. So basically, I was born to lead. What, do you, would you put that down to the education system that we have that limits or puts us in a box in terms of uh, academics and you're only viewed as bright if you can do certain things in a certain way? Um, I think we're changing. I think today we're looking at people and saying, you need to have the grades. But, you know, I, when my son did his IGCSEs recently, and the night or week before, he was like, Mommy, I'm so worried, what if? And I looked at him and I said, you know, your examination, mm -hmm. and you're going to have many, this is your first one, all right? You're going to have so many examinations, and none of them determine who you are and what you're going to be, all right? Mm -hmm. That's just one building block. Life is so many building blocks. So you've got your academics, all right? And you can be, I mean, like Richard Branson, he, he could never, ever get it right in terms of academics. Mm -hmm. And most people who are successful today can't because you can't confine them in a box. They want that freedom to be able to expand their thought, uh, thoughts, expand their output. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that if you're confined to academics. Though I do respect, I mean, I respect anybody whose name has doctor so-and-so. You know, because yeah, I know bandits. that they're, they're learned, yeah. they've, they've put time and effort in it, mm. but that's them. You know, for me, having a doctor before my name, <laughs> that's not going to happen, you know, mm. unless it's honorary rather than uh, academic, okay. because I, I'm not that kind of person who will sit down and learn, learn, learn. All right, let's look at uh, 